Hello. 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 <laughs> I'm Carolyn Fox, and this is another Midtown moment here for Let's Take Two. All right, so let's see, what do I want to, okay. I'm getting yeah. out of your frame, sorry. This yeah. is another Midtown moment. Healthy uh, Midtown moment. Mm -hmm. A healthy Midtown yeah. moment, yeah. Okay, three, two, one. Hello, I'm Carolyn Fox, and this, it, let me do it again. It's okay, we're here. It's okay if I screw up on the front side. Oh, don't worry. What is that? My phone. <laughs> Yeah. I, uh, excuse me, I'm sorry, that's a good one. Okay. Okay, we're back. Hi, I'm Carolyn Fox with another Midtown Moment. And this is the proprietor of the and owner and chef. This is Maria Loy from Loy Estiatoria. Good. Did I do that right? Great. You're yeah, amazing. I, yeah, well, <laughs> Greek, it's Greek to me. All right, so the way I know Maria is uh, Maria uh, has her restaurant here at 132 West 58th, yes. and it's a few doors down from where I live. And when I first moved to Midtown, it was just such a warm, yummy reception. Just from the street, you could feel this vibe that draws you in to the restaurant. And since then, uh, I've been here in Midtown for almost two years. And yeah, yeah, it's been a while. Now, how long has the restaurant been here? Uh, will be, it's almost three years. Three years. Yeah. And did you have uh, the restaurant elsewhere in the city? Or yes. is this, oh. Yes, we were for three years on the Upper West Side. And how was that? Fantastic. It was. Very nice and amazing people there. But we had to leave, you know, because Rents. of the lease. Okay, right. okay. Yeah. And why did you come to Midtown? Uh, well, um, I didn't actually looking, I was looking for Midtown, but the Midtown came to me oh. and they said, you know, like the owners of this restaurant, they said that uh, we want to work with you. I came here and I said, um, mm, it's a bit smaller than the other one. Mm -hmm. But uh, when I went to the kitchen and I saw the stove, me and Dara, you know, my chef, we said, oh my God, this is amazing. So we want to cook here. And that was it. The stove. The stove. Old style. Let me ask you another question. Why is it when I go to other Greek restaurants, and you know that there are millions of them here in Manhattan, why is your food so much better? And I'm not this, I get nothing from this, but it's so true. It's, it's like a different take on Greek food, if you will. Tell me more. Well, I have to tell you, because we respect ourselves, first of all. And I don't cook for my customers. I cook for me first and my people. Okay. So what I want to make for me, I make the same for my customers. And what that makes a difference? Ingredients, right. fresh fish, that we bring from Greece every day, wow. fresh produce, and of course the way that my yaya used to cook. Your yaya? Of course. And what's a yaya? <laughs> my yaya is a grandma. A grandma! <laughs> In Greek. Ah, oh, because I used to play with a yo-yo when I was a kid. <laughs> a, yeah. All right, so I understand you're also the global ambassador for Greek gastronomy. First of all, what the heck is that? <laughs> and secondly, who appointed you that? Well, the Chef's Club of Greece, uh, they said that you are the one who should be, you know, the ambassador, you know, for Greek gastronomy. In the beginning, I said, oh, nice. You know, I thought, you know, it was like PR, you know, going here and there. Then I saw how hard it was, but I love it. Believe me, I travel throughout the world. You know, like last year, for example, I was in Australia, mm -hmm. and oh. yes, and uh, I give my knowledge both about the Greek foodies, which is healthy and tasty. You know, I also read that you've written thirty-six <laughs> books, yes. mostly cookbooks or. It has history. Lifestyle. Yeah, lifestyle. Lifestyle. Well. And honing in on ancient Greece. 
-hmm. And in fact, one of your cookbooks, if I'm not mistaken, uh, that was very well received, came out um, uh, around the 2004 Greek Olympics. Yes. And tell me more about that book. Well, when um, I changed my life, uh, 2001, 2002, I went back to my roots, where because I'm a farm girl. Oh, you're a farm girl. Oh, That's course. why I know how to make the best yogurt. Oh, ah, <laughs> I, I would love so. to know how to make that yogurt, but that's another topic for another time. <laughs> it's okay, we can give you the recipe. Yeah, good, good, yes, good, good. Will. I'm sure it'll come yeah. out the same way too, Maria. <laughs> it will. Yeah. So, uh, then I went back in my roots and I started uh, reading, you know, like uh, cooking, searching what it was, you know, like about the ancient Greeks, the different, because I said, these people, they couldn't have only philosophy, mathematics, you know, mm -hmm. like all that. And they didn't have food because there's no recipes around. Oh, no, wow. they're not. So Interesting. That's what it was. So then I was reading, you know, where Ulysses, that, uh, this, that, you know, they had special phrases, you know, how they, they were cooked, you know, like the food, mm -hmm. that's the meat like this, the fish like this. Oh. So, and I brought everything up there so I made recipes and then the, yeah the committee from the Olympic the Athens 2004 Olympic Games came to me they know? must have been so appreciative oh there were God. no recipes yes exactly just really quickly what is one ancient Greece grain oh. say that ten times fast <laughs> I love, yeah. I, I love because the ancient Greeks, you know, like they had many grains actually. Okay, just and pick one. Zea. How do you, huh? Zea. Zea? A Zea. What is that? It's, it's an ancient Greek grain that you can make bread, you can make, uh, f yeah, like pasta, all of that. Oh, wow. And it's amazing. It's not well known, mm -hmm. but it's going to be, I think. Now, wrapping up our little yeah. midtown moment here with uh, Maria Loy from Malia, uh, Maria Lois Estiatario. Good. Did I say that right? Lois Estiatario. I'm blowing myself away. Yeah. Um, what's the one thing about Midtown that you think is overlooked or your favorite thing about Midtown? Well, Midtown. Secret. Oh, well, first, my, my, my own secret, it's my restaurant. Of course, you know? yeah. but that's not a secret. Every celebrity <laughs> in the planet comes here. I, I don't know, yeah, yeah. it's like, I, for me to get a reservation here, I have to wait three months, but no. But the, the celebrities, they're here. Oh, come on, you I'm make teasing. me feel bad. Oh, no, 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 that's a good yeah. sign here. Thank you, I really okay. appreciate that. Yeah, it's, uh, it's actually like in the middle of of uh, the earth, you know, that uh, it's before it was Delphi, you know, like that I am near. My home actually was near Delphi in Greece. Yeah. So here it's the center of the world and Midtown, it is a center of the world. It is. And I love it because I am in the middle of these huge buildings, but in the meantime, I can walk by uh, like two blocks away mm -hmm. and I am in Central Park. You know, in the biggest garden of the world. Isn't that wonderful? It, it's beautiful. I you know, know? I love that. and you can meet, like you said, you can meet celebrities. Mm -hmm. You can meet anyone, and you say every morning, like "Good morning, Kalimera," because I speak Greek to them. Yeah. You know, I teach them, and uh, yeah, I'm glad that in the nighttime, the evening, you know, like they come here, and they all know each other. Actually, yeah, they know yeah. their table. You know, we don't have, oh. we don't need the host to take. Them. Oh yeah. <laughs> Okay, they have yeah. their own tables yeah. too. Okay, I, I get I get stuck behind the bar. No, just kidding. And, uh, no, it's always okay. No, I love you when you sit on the bar because I can chat with you. Absolutely, you know? and I chat with everybody yeah. at the bar. I'm an so. equal opportunity chatter <laughs> at Loy. Okay. Yeah. All so, right. And they come here and they feel like the, the celebrities, like you said, like they're in their home mm. because we respect their privacy. Yeah. Uh, and I I, yeah. I see that. I, I see the love that comes from the street into this restaurant and the love that comes out. Yeah. Yeah. And Maria, thank you so much for thank sharing you. this time with us. I wish you nothing but great success. Uh, I love that you're making people pay attention to food through Happy. your recipe, yes. Yeah, and they feel good yeah. after they eat here. Because it's healthy yeah. and tasty. It's healthy and tasty, just like us. Yeah. I'm Carolyn Fox. This is Maria Loy. Another Midtown moment here 
in New York City.